Hey everyone, let's talk about how to shape and chisel bluestone today. A couple examples of projects that I've completed from simple to more sophisticated, all using the same basic techniques. You'll need a small sledgehammer, ideally one that you're comfortable swinging all day so you can size it accordingly, and a tracer chisel uh, is very important as well. You can use just a standard cold chisel, um, but you'll find a carbide tip chisel will do the job a little bit better. So in this case, I want to split the stone in half. Uh, let's say I'm working on a stepping stone project and I want to make um, one really big piece into two um, so that it's all consistent sizing. I'm going to trace a line across the stone and you'll notice a rhythm to how I'm striking the chisel. Um, I usually sort of do a double tap, move it across the stone, double tap, and back and forth and back and forth, sort of suggesting to the stone where it should break. You'll find out very quickly that you can't force the stone to do something it doesn't want to. Okay, now let's look at shaping and piecing two pieces together. So it's a little bit of give and take between the two. I like to sort of line up general shapes and get it close. And then you can really hone it in with your chisel after that. I'm using a different style of tracer here, more for edging the stone, uh, but you can use uh, the same tracer as you were using before. Um, just has a specific direction, which is ideal. And I'm just going to line them up and sort of eyeball a general um, nice curvature that I want to keep on the stone, getting rid of anything that really protrudes and is going to get in the way of the other stone fitting close. And now I want to really transfer that line to the other stone. So I'm going to sort of eyeball the distance or use the pencil and your finger to sort of create um, a scribe of that original line onto the new stone. So give us something to work off of. Um, that gives us a, a nice point to sort of chisel to so you're not just eyeballing the whole thing. Always sort of mark it, check it. Um, chisel it and then check it again. You really have to take your time here and, uh, and hone it in piece by piece. Um, as you can see by the first time I did it, I sort of took off a little bit too much. So that'll happen a lot. Um, little pieces might break in spots you don't really want them to, but uh, perseverance will get it really, really tight here. Just taking off a little bit at a time. An exact same principle, but here I'm going to uh, make a nice natural face on this piece for a stair tread. So first I describe a line across with a straight edge, and now I'm just taking the stone back in tiny pieces, like less than an inch, um, just to make sure I don't break the stone in a spot that I don't prefer. Those little pieces come off nicely, just have to get into a rhythm of chiseling and just slowly take it back to that line. And that'll create a nice natural chiseled edge. And with these basic skills as a starting point, you can really start to hone in your own style and have some fun with it. Let me know what you think. See you next time.